Hello, my name is Chad and this is the second tutorial in a series of tutorials about how to use the layer blending modes, specifically the overlay group of layer blending modes in Photoshop. In this installment of this uh, series of tutorials we're going to look at the high pass filter and how it is used in conjunction with the overlay blending modes to create sharpening. We're going to do a contrast effect with the same tool next time, but this time let's just start out by looking at sharpening, which I think is probably what this tool was designed to do. I don't know for sure, but uh, it's the way I've seen it used most. The other um, uses for this tool are really kind of, um, you know, new and, and interesting ways that people have found to use tools that were developed for something else. But we're going to take a look at those too. So to start out here, I'm going to open my layers palette and I have my background. I, don't, I haven't done really anything to this, uh, to this photo except for process it a little bit in Lightroom. So instead of la like last time when we had a black to white gradient over the image to show the changes that that can make, this time I'm going to make a copy of the background itself. And I'm going to turn that copy, I do that by dragging the background layer onto the new layer button. There's other ways you can do it too, but that's how I usually do it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in soft light mode. Soft light I find is always a good place to start because you can always see things really well in soft light. Sometimes I like to make the effect more dramatic once I've created it. It's just not enough in soft light. But I always start in soft light because sometimes uh, if you start in a different one of these blending modes and try to do your radiuses and things in this filter that you'll see, you end up backing everything off too much because the layer that you chose was too harsh. I find if you start in soft light, you always get the right filter settings. And then if you need it more harsh than soft light can give you, you bump the layer up. So I'm going to zoom in here to actual pixels. And right now we have that contrast effect going on from the soft light layer that we noticed in the last episode. But that's not what I want. I want to make this image sharper. So I'm going to go to filter, high pass. Now this filter is a really interesting filter. What it does is it basically gives you a 50% gray layer and then it detects edges. And this is a perfect example of what it's doing right here. As it approaches the light side of an edge, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter, lighter than 50% gray. As it approaches the dark side of an edge, it gets darker and darker and darker. So it's a lot like an unsharp mask layer, and what we're really doing is creating our own unsharp mask and not really fully applying it. We're applying it based on a layer. So the sharpening looks a lot like the unsharp mask sharpening, but I think it's a little more versatile and I think it looks a little better in most cases. So we only have one option here, the radius, and it's going to do the same thing all the time. There's no other parameters that we can adjust. When I'm adjusting the radius, I'm usually looking to see when I can get the most contrast in my dark to light without color bleeding through. Once color starts bleeding through, you've kind of gone too far and you're really adjusting the contrast of the image more than you're adjusting the sharpness of the image. So in this case, I would probably go somewhere a little higher than two. I'm going to turn it up a little higher than that to make sure that you can see it on YouTube. So I've got it up almost near three. This, this, isn't, this isn't outrageous for this, uh, for this image. This image could use a lot of sharpening. So I'm going to accept that change and in the soft light layer we can turn it on and off and see what it's done. It's a very realistic sharpening in soft light. It does not give you any of those harsh white lines around things in soft light um, that an unsharp mask can give you because the soft light is a very soft layer to begin with. It just it, The layer itself isn't capable of blowing out what's underneath it like the unsharp mask can. So it's a very safe way to sharpen without getting those ugly artifacts. But I'm thinking that we might not be quite sharp enough here. So I'm going to bump it up to hard light. That's always my next step. Now we do have some uh, some some white edges that uh, that really aren't objectionable in this image. I don't think in this image they just make it look sharper. 
So we can turn that on and off and we can definitely see the difference now. There's a big difference between soft light and hard light in the intensity of that effect. So I'm going to zoom out to 50, say, and we're going to take a look at that. And that looks fantastic for screen, for print. I think that's really good because it really defines where those ropes are in a way that it wasn't so defined without that layer. See, they look a little blurred together at this size. That's not what we're looking for. We want to really accentuate what makes this piece of art interesting, which is definitely these rope structures traveling through here. And a heavy-handed sharpening really pulls that structure out and gives it that fine detail. And I'm not really seeing any amount of artifact from the sharpening that's objectionable. If I did, I can actually go into this layer and paint it out. Remember, 50% gray in an overlay layer does nothing. So if I have halos around here, I can go in with my 50% gray and just paint them out. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on the next tutorial. But for now, let's play around with these different uh, blending modes and the high pass layer and try to sharpen the images that way. It's great because you could apply multiple layers of sharpening. You could apply multiple different settings of sharpening that you could turn on and off for using this same file for multiple different things. Very powerful and flexible way of sharpening. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you put this uh, tool to good use.